Yo, what is happening, people? So, spinning reel I just got spooled up not long ago for panfish. Now, today I am going to show you guys the most deadliest panfish rig literally on the market. It will catch you bluegill no matter where you go. It will catch you big bluegill. It'll catch you bass. It will literally catch you anything. And I am going to... I almost regret doing this, but today I will show you the secret to doing it. So, as you can see with the line, with how I spooled it up, there's no blowout. Exactly what we want. So, tighten up the drag some. Now, here is why this is the number one bluegill rig on the planet. Yesterday, it was 50 degrees. 51 degrees. Today, with the windshield, it's dropped all the way down to, I think, 30. So, it's, it's cold. First off, you're going to get your bobber stop. Put that through there. Pull that off. Bobber stop on the line. Slide that up. Slip float. You got to have a slip float. They're amazing. They work in water from anywhere from as shallow as one foot to as deep as... 15 20 foot slip bobbers on the line next we are going to grab a Yamachatsu Aberdeen hook we're not going to do anything fancy here just tie that on simple trilene knot It's almost looking like it wants to storm, but wet up. Pull everything tight. Then clip the tag in. One split shot. That's all you really need to start. Put that about six inches up from the hook. Now, here's where we're at. As you can see right there, it's about two to three foot deep all the way around. You can see littered with bluegill beds already from previous years. Right there in the deep water, provided I haven't gone crazy and I'm not mistaken, that's where they're going to be hanging up, staging out in the deep water now. There's the rig. There's the bait. That's beautiful stuff, I tell you. Just extra large red worms from DMF. I'm going to take one of them little wiggly guys. Remember guys, if you use bait, always remember, please recycle. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like going places and seeing everything littered with worm containers and bottles and all that nasty stuff you know it it don't make things pleasant so we got the rig tied up i'm looking at i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust this to about 18 to 20 inches to start
see how well we can see everything from here. Seriously needing a cameraman. Just give that a little pitch out. Letting you guys in on a little secret here. See if I can zoom into that. Bobber is laying flat. Oh no. So, simple way to fix it. Reel it in. So, Bobber's laying flat means there's not enough weight to make the bobber sit upright. So, what do we do? We grab more split shot. Put that one about 12 inches up from the hook. Bam. Let's give this a little test flip out there. Beautiful. So, as you can now see, Bobber is standing upright. Pretty much right where it needs to be. Now, check this out. Here is why I say this is the ultimate bluegill. Wow. Set up. He's already on. I mean, put perfectly in the mouth. About 20 inches down. Pretty little guy, about maybe 5, 6 inches long. Nothing overly crazy, but... Literally, I've been here 7 minutes, 21 seconds. I rigged up. I got all my stuff adjusted to the proper depth, the proper height. And as soon as I got the proper everything set up, I'm catching fish. So, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to keep filming anything, so... Let's see how well all this works out, shall we? See if I can uh, get you guys in focus here. I am finding out I definitely think I need a cameraman, so I am going to try to hold everything and keep you in focus and look for my bobber. There it is, alright. I usually give it about a 20 second wait, maybe 30 seconds, and I'm moving at a foot or so. Now, bobber fishing, it may seem... Alright, so I just found out, holding the phone while filming is definitely not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> but right there at that drop-off, they seem to be liking it. Because even though it might not be totally deep, it is deeper water. Instant low catch and release there. So, if this 
video helps you guys, make sure you like it. Go check out my other socials, Instagram at Cory Outdoors 2, my Facebook page, Cory Outdoors 2. Be sure to like and hit follow on both of those. And on YouTube here, if, you, if this helps you guys, if you guys like the other videos, make sure you subscribe. If there's anything else you guys want to see, make sure to follow. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see. Until then, I will see you guys next time.